Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country 96.1 fathead Candy Roth. I sent you a picture of my uh, my groomed puppies, right? Adorable. Gorgeous. Billy is so poodly. Mm hmm. Uh, and it, she really is. And that white stripe on her forehead. I know, so cute. And Lucy looks look- like living stuffed animals. I know. That's what I call her. I, I, call, uh, I call Millie a walking teddy bear. She I really know, is. So, so cute. Um, and Lucy does- is. So adorable, so pondering what's happening in the world around her. Smartest dog we've ever had. Oh. She's always thinking. That brain is always working on her. Adorable. Incredible. What is she again? Uh, she's a Yorkie Poo. Oh, no wonder. Yorkie mm-hmm. Poo, yes. They're very smart. Yes, and she she's like a mix of Tony and Tilly. You're Tilly. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I love my Tilly. Mm. And some Electra thrown in there. My old, uh, yeah, my old why girl. Yeah, not? Yeah. Uh, by the way, big shout out to our uh, good friends over at Marich's Dog Grooming. They are uh, they're absolutely fantastic. They do an amazing job, Candy. Yes. Um, yeah. I, that's uh, I call them up. They get me in, and uh, who bing, do bang, they boom. choose to do first, Millie or Lucy? That's a good question. I, do they do them simultaneously? I don't know. Th- no, I think they do them uh, separately. One at I, a time. I, I next time uh, I'll ask. But yes. Um, they do uh, an incredible job, and it's the uh, it's the only place I go. And I call them up, and they they uh, try to get me in as soon as they can. And they're they're very good. Um, Candy today is uh, where's the national days? I have it right here. All national right. Florida Day today. Go Florida! It's a nice place to visit. Not sure I want to live there. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, my trips to Florida. I've had many as a kid. And I so- love to visit Florida. Can I live there? I haven't decided. Yeah, I don't know about that, but some Brian of my... would like to retire to Florida. I can't guarantee that we can do that. <laughs> I can't. You're going to southern Delaware with me, That's aren't you? That's right. I, I, I think Florida's a bit much for me. That's some of my best memories as a kid down in Florida. Love oh, it. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Uh, I don't na- want to live there. National Irish Coffee Day today. Oh, yes. Put a little liquor, a little whipped cream. Not my thing, but people like them. It is National Opposite Day today, and that worked for George Costanza one day on Seinfeld. So why not, Candy? And what do we do on Opposite Day? Everything we do, opposite. That's right. We do the opposite. Absolutely. Hmm. We um, do opposite today. Interesting. Yeah, maybe instead of taking a nap, stay up for 24 hours. See how uh, it no. goes. <laughs> I can tell you how that would go. It wouldn't go well. You're exhausted. And... Finally, it is plan for vacation day today, Candy. Good idea. You know, we were supposed to go to Florida in February. Now I've put it off to March because, I, you know, with the, the yeah. COVID, the this, the that, I don't, I'm a little leery of planes. I don't know. Evan's been flying all over. I don't know. Yeah, look, I mean, if you take the right precaution and you, you get lucky, you're you're good to go. But yeah. um, you do what makes you feel comfortable. That's all. Yeah, March, because they say uh, February we should be winding down at least with the high numbers. Did I yep. hear the news correctly or was yeah. I fantasizing? Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, always thinking about my cruise uh, that's coming up. and we'll... All right. Again, one year uh, was put off. Yeah, two, what, two years. years now. Yeah, yep. that's right. Two. Wow. Two years. We'll see. Uh, see how that goes. But don't I'll tell get you... on a cruise now because some of them aren't even being allowed in ports. Yeah, <laughs> I know. There, there's no better time than planning a vacation. Uh, just you know, to get it going in your mind and know that you have something to look forward to. Uh, you know, I got. Did I tell you I got a call from my uh, in-laws the other day? They said, "Are you around on these dates in November? We might have to have Charlie." Uh, the dog, uh, stay with you. We're looking at going to Aruba. So Wow, now that is planning for the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So November. Yeah. And they're I'm like, wasn't it just November? And by the way, they're planning on being on the cruise with us too. So they're you Oh, know, all right. Very nice. Yeah. Those two get around. They are uh they're living the life for they sure. They are. Uh Candy, some good news for you. A six year old in Alabama, Caden. He's six. Got a hero's welcome. His local fire department uh, fire department uh, was there when he got home from the hospital last week. You know, at six, he ran out into the street to save his sister from being hit by a car, and he got hit instead. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. 
And the firefighters brought their truck. They gave him a tour of the truck. They let him nice. sit up there. I love that. Uh, and he wore his Superman Halloween costume, by He's the way. A Superman, that is for sure. Uh, the Red Cross still needs more blood donations, so Krispy Kreme getting on board. Anyone who shows up with a card that shows they donated recently will get uh, a dozen free donuts, a free box. No, thank you. No, I have you don't. To keep my blood. You don't. I'm very bad with needles. Even right. With the they couldn't get it in here. Then they had right. to call the other guy, and the big guy had to come, and then they got it in my hand. It's like a nightmare. I was about to say for a minute, I was about to yell at you and say that's not very giving of you, it's Candy. It's not very giving, but you can't have my blood. No, you you are like my mother. They can't yeah. find a vein. It's crazy. No, it's bad. It's torture. I'm sorry. And then if I had to sit there while they're pumping it all out, I might pass right out. Listen, I I'm lucky. I have good veins when they take blood. But I am one of those people. If I was like you. There's, I, I could never give blood. I could never do it. I yeah. tell everyone at the beginning who's ever going to take it, I have very bad veins. Please be very careful. Make sure you see a vein. They bounce away. I know my whole history. I go, the nurse says, oh, no problem. She's talking. I said, this is a red flag. When they start chatting with you and while they're trying to find the vein, you're in trouble. And <laughs> this nurse was doing that. And I said, she's not going to get that vein. And she didn't because she was jabber jawing to me. And then if, they had to call a perfect, you know, another person, a guy who was great. He didn't even mess around. He had that thing in in three seconds. If the phlebotomist, right? Did I get that right? Phlebotomist. Oh, what a fancy word. If the phlebotomist is talking to you uh, about more than just the weather that day and you get into conversations right. about your family, then you know you've been there too long, Candy. <laughs> no, no. Sure. She's chatting away about nail polish and this, that. I said, oh, <laughs> she ain't going to find this vein. Oh, this is not good. And sure enough, she did not. Did not happen. All right. She well, felt terrible, but you got to shut up that mouth, girl. That <laughs> Listen to you. No, uh, don't talk when you're looking for a vein. It's very uh, simple. I just want to make a public apology. If you're the person who took Candy's blood, I am sorry. I really am sorry you're getting ripped on, uh, on the air. I'm sorry. I'm sorry yeah. as well. But that's just a lesson for anybody doing that. Don't, don't chat away. My country, Netty 6.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, Netty 6.1.